What's up, Zach here with Dr. EyeballMD. Today I wanna to show you five of my favorite apps for ophthalmology, let's get into it. So our first app is gonna be the Bookshelf app. And what I like about this app is that it allows you to search within Wills. So the only book I have in here is the Wills Eye Manual but it's laid out in a very easy way and it allows me to search within the book. So it's not just like a PDF file and it's divided up by, uh, you know, by a system, basically glaucoma, retina, neuro, uveitis. So I can just click on whatever section I want. It takes me right to that section. And then within that, you know, I can click on whatever I'm looking for. So eyelid laceration, I can go straight to the part that talks about treatment and I'm just right there. I'm not doing a lot of searching through a bunch of text or you know having to lug a book around so the bookshelf app is what i like to have wills and so like in the er this is what i'll go to uh, to have quick access to wills eye manual very quick reference this is good for not just ophthalmology but er doctors family medicine anybody that needs a uh, quick reference like that and then like i said it allows you to search uh, within the app so i just search for giant cell and then it takes me right to that section uh, so very helpful one of the ones that i use most so the next one is going to be the inkling app and what i like about the inkling app uh, is that this is where i put all of my other books my other texts that i want reference to so i have four here right now i have kansky uveitis the mass eye and ear book uh, and then a review book up in the top right there but if you click on the mass eye and ear book here you can see it's kind of laid out similar to the bookshelf app um, through the with the wills book in it it's divided up by section I can click on sections and then what's good about this book in particular is that it has a lot of really good pictures more pictures than wills uh, and better pictures than wills and so it also gives little paragraphs describing things and uh, it's not as good for kind of treatment management decisions as wills it's pretty good for it but the benefit of that book is more the pictures but this inkling app is where i store all of my other books and texts that i just want to have on my phone for quick reference so the next one is going to be the eye handbook now this one's very helpful especially uh, for its testing function so if i click on the testing part there what i normally will use this app for is the color vision if i need to you know if i think someone's got optic neuritis or some sort of damage to the optic nerve i can go into the color vision part of this and it has these simulated ishihara plates so i can test their color vision in each eye and so that's the biggest thing that i like about uh about this one but it also has these these little um snellen type charts that you can test vision with uh, and then when I've been in a pinch before and didn't have a floor scene light, uh, it has this blue floor scene light and then you turn the brightness up all the way and uh, it, I've used this to, to look for corneal abrasions and things like that if I didn't have a, a cobalt blue light uh, with me. Um, so I do like that eye handbook a lot and again all these apps are free so none of this is paid for. Um, the next one is the counter plus and what I like to use this for is to keep track of procedures that I do so that I can go back and log them uh, in the ACGME case log. So I have like globes, LPIs, SLTs, um, injections, PRP uh, and all this is zeroed out because I've already logged a lot of it. Uh, I do actually do these procedures but um, that's a good way for me just to keep track of the numbers. Um, the next one will be the uh, AAO um, app. Uh, what I like about this app in particular, it has a, a few good things to it, but um, it has the iWiki search function built into it. So iWiki is basically a Wikipedia page for ophthalmology that's run through the AAO and you can just Google it and, and get to it that way. But uh, it's also within this app, you can go straight into the iWiki page and search here. And uh, I think these iWiki pages are really good. Um, it's one of my favorite online resources to go to. Um, and it's right here within this app. Some of the other things that you can do here is uh, it has surgical videos, uh, videos explaining things. Um, and you can actually divide it up by, you know, interest in certain specialties, subspecialties, glaucoma, retina, whatever, you can kind of tailor it to what you like. And then it also has a news section that tells you new things that are coming out in ophthalmology. So I like that part of it too. And then it also has this diagnosis section where you can go in and try to diagnose these different little cases and there's multiple choice. And then one extra app here that I just got recently is this Ullman Indirect. And it allows you to basically take videos of the retina with your phone. You can do this without this app, just using the camera app and turning the flash on. You still have to hold a 20 diopter lens in front of the eye uh, to be able to do it. But this app um, kind of helps you, it just makes it a little bit easier. It has some of those functions built in. Uh, in terms of like exposure, focal length, and uh, actually automatic recording. So to sum up, 
the five apps that I like to use are the Bookshelf app for Wills, the Inkling app to store all my other texts and books, the EHB or iHandbook app, which lets you do some testing on the fly in the ER, uh, the CounterPlus app to keep track of procedures, and I like the AEOs app as well. And then if you want to try this Ullman and Direct, you can do that try to get pictures of the retina. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.